Taylor Swift is prepared to sacrifice yet another boyfriend's soul to further her career as she potentially joins the MCU. What could possibly make the MCU any more than the MCU than adding Taylor Swift? That's right. I don't usually cover rumors unless they cover lizard people or Satanists. So that's why we're covering Taylor Swift joining the MCU. Allegedly, I know Snopes fact checked this and they said research pending. So it could be true. Perhaps Kevin Feige met with her. There's been a lot of stuff kicking around about this. By the way, I'm the man you may know as Z from Our Reviews Will Kill You. And uh, we would love it if you like, subscribe. If you like this kind of entertainment news, it would greatly help us. So if you could consider it, we would greatly uh, we'd appreciate it. Thank you. Anyway, let's check out some articles here. The first one is Ryan Reynolds, who's been floating like a ton of nonsense. You know, he's the Merc with the mouth, Deadpool. And he's also a master of marketing. He's very good at marketing, likes to market a whole bunch of different stuff. And it's like, will she, won't she be in Deadpool versus Wolverine? Oh, I don't know. Um, but he addressed the rumors directly. Now, everybody thinks that she's going to show up as a pop star, a mutant from the X-Men known as Dazzler, who is a, she's a pop star in X-Men canon. So I suppose it makes sense. But I suspect that she's more of a serious actress, if that's what she really wants to do as she consumes the souls of all men around her. I think I think she's a succubus. I think we've, we've established that. Uh, but Ryan Reynolds hints at a bunch of surprise. I'm sure there's going to be a bunch of cameos. I just... I, I just don't see it in this. I feel like she wouldn't want to get pigeonholed, per se. But, you know, she's got a private jet that spews out smog and and fo and uh you know pollution and all that and she'll fly out wherever that she'll fly wherever she wants she go wherever she want you can't stop her uh so there was an interview with fandango where ron reynolds addressed the deadpool and he, he says you know movies like this there's so much speculation about so many people that might end up in the film i saw one that was convinced that elvis is in the movie Anything can happen, and that's sort of what I love about the universe. Surprises are the essence of Deadpool. If you recall, Brad Pitt had a, like, un I don't know if it was even a titled cameo or an untitled cameo. We'll see. A lot of people aren't thrilled with this. But again, she's going to do what she wants. She doesn't care. Apparently, she had a cameo in the Hannah Montana movie. Who knew? Uh, so I don't know exactly what she's going to do. But the, this rumor is d she's going to play Dazzler. Allison Blair is a mutant with the power to convert sound and light into waves, into forms of light energy. Whatever. Not, I don't think this is the right one. I think we should keep going. Um, but yes, this... Is the start the start of MCU's downfall? Fall? I think if you've been paying attention, there's way more to this than that. Um, there is one saving grace, but it doesn't make a lot of sense. And and maybe I'll talk about that in the podcast later. Picard's Terry Metalis will be joining the MCU to direct the Vision show. <laughs> Why? I like Terry Metalis. What are you doing? <laughs> Uh, anyway, a lot of people think that this is a disaster. They're, they're meeting to speculate and talk about it. So what they're talking about now, cause they, cl everybody's claiming she should make Kevin Feige to talk about it. And the fans are, you know, annoyed. Uh, I, Marvel, I speak for everyone. When I say we did not ask for this, this one says, yeah, I already lost interest in Marvel. After Endgame, this will make it worse and make me give up everything in Marvel. Yup. We totally did not. Taylor Swift is definitely not a great pick, especially in a Marvel movie series. It's This is the start of the MCU's downfall. 
How do you have something that used to make billion dollar movies and just flush it down the drain? How do you do that? They, people have to finally realize that Marvel is extraordinarily damaged. Me and Marvel are officially done WTF. Marvel do, is doing everything possible to make everyone hate them. Yes, they are. MCU downfalls. I think we predicted it three years ago. Do you people even remember that there was a movie called The Eternals? According to the MCU lore, there is a giant space monster sitting in the middle of the ocean and no one cares about it or confirms it. Yeah, we've just totally forgotten about that. Nobody cares anymore. Okay. Uh, uh, all right. Let's get to the actual, like, the rumor that I think is the most possible. Taylor Swift to play a lead in a Marvel Studios blonde phantom show. Okay. This seems more, and I'm not saying it's a good thing. I'm just saying this is what we're hearing. Uh, it's called Blonde Phantom, a Disney Plus series. Yes, that's exactly what I would like to see. Taylor Swift is being considered a lead, set in 1950s Las Vegas, crime-fighting spy series. Oh, yeah, that's what I want to see. <laughs> like, what? So here's, here's there's an image here of the, the uh, comic book. Uh, it looks like a very old comic book. It almost reminds me of Agent Carter, right? And they tried real hard to make that good, that, that people would like it, and it just did not do well in the ratings. I was okay with it because I like Peggy Carter, and I, I like that character. But, you know, the show got pretty boring when she was worried about her boyfriends and things like, <laughs> okay, well, I don't know. It just wasn't that interesting. Um... The meeting, there was a meeting, but there doesn't confirm her appearance as anything. Um, she, I don't know why she would have an interest in it. Like, can is everyone in Hollywood completely like blind to this? They can't see. Like, why would you want to associate your name with this? The only one who seems to think that it's a good idea coming back is is Chris Hemsworth, because I think he wants to fix Thor. I think he thinks of Thor as part of his legacy. And a lot of people, there's a lot of goodwill towards Thor. And I think he wants to go out on a good Thor movie, not on Thor Love and Thunder. Does anyone remember that movie? Do you remember that one? That one sucked too. What are we talking about here? The Marvels? No one even watched the Marvels. I don't even think it made $100 million domestically. It's garbage. I guess that's the point of everybody's apathetic. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Is this is this the imminent demise of the MCU? Are we prepared to lose the MCU? Should Kevin Feige still have a job if he's talking to Taylor Swift about acting in like, you know, are they going to blow $200 million on this show? Just throw it down the toilet? Like Echo? Oh my gosh. I'm one of the few people. Who watch. You have to remember, folks, I watched every single thing. MCU, Disney+, Plus, all of it. Because I have to, or else I will not be able to pay for electricity, apparently. So anyway, thanks for checking it out. I do appreciate this. Uh, catch our full-length audio podcast. It's on iTunes. We also live stream it here on YouTube every Friday night, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can also join us on the Mean Green Machine, the R with the Umble. You know where to go. And um, yeah, that's all for me. Thanks for checking it out. Like and subscribe. Love all y'all, but I am on to the next one.